fabricating an Ethernet crossover and straight through cable. The straight through Ethernet cable is used in local area network to connect a PC to a network hub and router. This is the standard cable used for almost all purposes. A crossover cable, on the other hand, can be used to connect two network devices directly without the need for a router in the middle. It simply reverses some of the pins so that the output on one computer is being sent to the input of another. The following items are the materials and tools used for making Ethernet cables. Ethernet cable category 5E or CAT 5E standard wire for cabling, RJ45 crimpable connector for CAT 5E, RJ45 crimping tool, wire cutter, stripper or pliers, and Ethernet cable tester. 1. Cut into the plastic sheet 1 inch from the end of the cut cable. The crimping tool has a razor blade that will do the trick with practice. 2. Unwind and pair the similar colors. Pinch the wires between your fingers and straighten them out as shown. The color order is important to do this correctly. In this example, you can see the first color is white-orange followed by the orange, white-green followed by the blue, white-blue followed by the green, white-brown, and the last one is the brown. Use wire cutter to make a straight cut across the wires one and a half inch from the cut sleeve to the end of the wires. Push the wires into the connector. Each wire fits into a slot in the area of the RJ45 connector. Note the position of the blue plastic shielding. Also note how the wires go all the way to the end. Take view from the top. Make sure that the wires are all the way in. There should be no short wires. Crimping the cable. Carefully place the connector into the Ethernet crimper and cinch down on the handles tightly. The copper splicing tabs on the connector will pierce into each one of the eight wires. There is also a locking tab that holds the blue plastic sleeve in place for a tight compression fit. When you remove the cable from the crimper, that end is ready to use. For a standard straight through cable, repeat all steps and wire color order on the other end of the cable. For a crossover cable, the other end will have a different color order as shown by the crossover picture. Make sure to test the cables before installing them. An inexpensive Ethernet cable tester does this quite well.